when are y'all going to listen to me? When are y'all going to listen to me? Didn't I tell y'all with DDG, if you know DDG, that all publicity is good publicity? And didn't I tell y'all that he's going to find a way to make money off of this? Now, he drops his song called Petty, which is okay song. I think it's a little bit catchy. Um, Obviously, it's just something to take advantage of the moment. I don't really think it's something that he expects to chart like number one or anything like that. But he addresses the Ruby Rose thing, saying that, you know, it's not the the uh, the B shirt and basically just addresses the fact too through a series of tweets that y'all just gonna be on his dick no matter what and like I told y'all man DDG is a genius when it comes to social media I told y'all that like this dude has made multiple YouTube channels got them all to 100k and basically just gives them out like like hot fries to people the dude knows what works he knows what's going to get people clicking he knows what's going to get people talking and even if it's negative publicity, he's going to find a way to make a dollar off of it. Now, if you don't know what's been going on, he um, he's re he's currently dating Hallie. And at some point in time, they had an argument and he ended up messaging Ruby Rose. We really don't know uh, the context or really of why he messaged her. Maybe, you know, maybe it was one of those things where, OK, I'm going to get back. With, I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to hit my ex on some petty shit. But regardless of the fact is it wasn't a good look. Then Ruby Rose goes on ahead and then she screenshots it and basically shows the world like this is why I don't date dudes because basically she's just saying they're not loyal and any chance they get to kind of get outside their relationship, they're going to do that. Um, now, I personally thought that was lame. A lot of y'all did not agree with me and that's fine too. I really didn't expect anybody to kind of agree because I just feel like there's going to be two types of people in this world. It's going to be ones that handle it one way and people that handle it another way and that's fine. I personally felt like she should have went the Ruby Rose. I mean, she should have went to Halle directly. A lot of y'all are saying, well, that ain't got shit to do um, with Halle. You know, she wants to post it on the internet or however she sees fit. That's cool. I look at that as clout chasing, though, personally. But, hey, that's, that's on y'all. But regardless of the fact is, um, DDG continues to basically dispel rumors that he wants Ruby Rose. He basically calls Ruby Rose um, uh, a clout chaser. He also talks about how she basically has sex for fame. Um, and that she's just basically like a little video, like basically like how we all think most people are, or most women are when they're in that entertainment industry that they're not, that, that doesn't really rap or doesn't sing or doesn't model or anything, does anything that just kind of just bounce from guy to guy or bounce from situation to situation in, in some form to stay relevant. Uh, that's basically what he was kind of trying to say about Ruby Rose. So I want to know what you guys thoughts are on this. How do you feel? about him continuously talking about his ex. I know some people still may not like that. Um, also, I know what you guys think about, or how would you feel if you were highly seeing that your boyfriend is still kind of addressing his ex? Uh, I'm personally the type of guy that does not like my, my girlfriend um, being in any form of contact with her exes at all. I don't care if they're on a casual, you know, if they're just cordial with each other. I just don't like it personally. I just don't see why there's any reason for exes to communicate. Uh, that's just me. Maybe I'm insecure. Maybe there's a little bit of growing up I need to do, but in my personal life, I don't talk to any of my exes. Um, we follow each other on Instagram. I watch my exes get married. I watch some of my exes get, have babies. Um, and like I said, the most I do is congrats and I just go on about my life, but it really does seem like DDG still has some type of connection with Ruby Rose. Cause this man puts a lot of energy into somebody that he doesn't give a fuck about, but I want to know what you guys think down below.